fashion week. I am so excited. I have, to say I have always wanted to go to New York Fashion Week is a complete understatement. I think ever since I started working in the fashion industry and heard of or knew about New York Fashion Week, I've wanted to go. For me, it's been like the ultimate. New York Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week, Milan Fashion Week. But we are starting with New York Fashion Week and actually, I have decided this year is the year for big things. So who knows, we might be going to more fashion weeks later this week, this year. But yes, fashion week fever is definitely at its peak. And literally the past two weeks have been so insane for me because I was, and I still am so stressed. You literally, it's just like the most impossible thing to know what, how to choose something to wear for. So I just decided to play it safe. Like, I will be honest with you. I didn't come up with anything that is super extraordinary or out of this world. I decided to just stick to my aesthetic. I'm not like um, into crazy stuff or anything like that. I'm like much more toned down. Just keep it kind of like light and easy and pretty safe. But I decided I will keep it safe, yes, but then I'll throw in a couple of trendy pieces so that, you know, I do kind of show up as well. You know, if you're going to go, you got to show up. So I have been doing some shopping for the past two weeks, and I'm going to show you guys like only three things out of the things that I decided to get to add to what I have. I also kind of played around with some things that I have in my wardrobe. So you guys will see the looks because I'm going to do a whole like three vlogs on new york fashion week i'm just so excited like i've already got my passes to some of the events i don't know if i'm, be, I'm, if I'm actually going to be able to watch any shows because it's literally impossible to get tickets to shows you have to be huge to get into a show or just by chance but who knows you know just being there for me is like going to be enough i'm going to attend some events and i've also got some amazing exciting meetings that have, i have set up so there is a lot of stuff that is going on but let me show you three pieces that i'm going to be styling and wearing during new york fashion week the first and also by the way I picked some things that were a bit trendy so that at least, you know, I would have some stuff that is current or is going to be big this year. And the first one is metallic. Metallic. And this one actually ticks two boxes. It's metallic and this whole cargo pocket utility vest kind of utility clothing trend that's going on at the moment. It's so popular. So this kind of ticks both boxes. I love it. This is a Ralph Lauren metallic silver utility vest. I love it. I'm going to be, this is going to be like on one of my looks. I'm only wearing it once. So I will show you guys what this is going to look like. So I'm very excited about this and I'm really, really happy with it. And then the second, oh yes, by the way, this is also reversible. So you can also wear it white. If you decide you want to wear the white side, it's also got like lots of pockets. So it's like amazing. You can get a lot of wear out of it. Then the next one is kind of like unconventional. I got this dress. This is an Oscar de la Renta gown. And the reason why I got it was because you can wear it multiple ways. I got it because yes, I also like to have something to wear on lots of different occasions and but then i'm not going to wear it as a gown during new york fashion week i'm actually going to style it as a maxi skirt so you're going to see how that look is going to come out but then glitter and sequins is also a big trend at the moment so i think this is going to look great after i style it so that is one of my other looks and then these i have not even like unboxed them yet but Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. I've been looking for something like this forever. Boom. The most beautiful off-white leather boots. I love them. I am so happy. And the smell of the leather. These are Vince Camato. 
so they are very affordable i got them at an amazing price i got them on ebay i'm so happy because i have been looking for off-white boots for the longest time off-white is basically like a neutral at the moment it goes with every single color and it also just elevates it and it look makes it look very on trend at the moment so these and i also ordered some silver boots but i don't think they're gonna be here on time because they're still not here and today is wednesday they're supposed to be they were supposed to be delivered between today and tomorrow and i'm leaving tomorrow morning at 10 30 a.m so i don't know maybe when they get there get here i'll have them overnighted to me in new york but then i don't know i might just have to wear these more than once but yeah i am so happy with them the great thing is that the leather is so soft that you can scrunch them down like that or you can actually just also wear them pulled up straight like that and they really sit nicely and they're also incredibly comfortable because the heel is not too high it's just so perfect i'm just like ecstatic i'm so 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 happy about these so those are the three pieces that i'm going to show you guys and then i'm going to yeah obviously you will see on instagram if you follow me on instagram i'm going to post even sooner so you'll get to see some of these looks a little bit earlier so yes follow me on instagram for day-to-day -day posts and reels on new york fashion week but other than that i have got so many things to do today i actually sound like i'm hyperventilating because i actually feel like that I need to do braids in my hair. I was initially going to do my hair like this. I'm going to insert a picture. Of course, I do not look as uh, this, she's just gorgeous, but this was what I was trying to look like. Well, pushing to look like this, but it's going to be raining on Friday and on Saturday. And a wig is not gonna make it. It's not going to survive that weather and I've been to New York before. There's a lot of walking to be done and not so much shelter. And because it's fashion week, everywhere's going to be pretty full. I just could not risk it. So I decided to just do braids again. So here's me saying that I'm going to do braids in my own hair. It's 3 p.m. I haven't even started, as you can see and I leave at 10 30 a.m. tomorrow morning so I don't know we'll see whatever happens you know I'm going I will wing it we'll manage and you guys will see what what the hair situation is going to be I also need to do my nails but then I think I'm just going to keep them short I'm not going to extend them I'll probably just paint them like a red or a nude or something like that but yeah I am going to pack well right now I'm going to go I've done a lot of work and yes, the reason why I haven't done my braids like earlier in the week is because they look better fresh. Everybody can relate. There's no day like the first couple of days of braids. That's just the most incredible. So I wanted them to look as fresh as possible. So I'm going to go do my braids. I did lots and lots of work because I'm going to be away for five days. And so I did not want to have like any urgent like work interruptions or anything like that so i made sure that all of that is done and now i'm gonna go and i'm gonna start braiding my hair hopefully finish i'm gonna do decent sized not too thin but yeah let me get going and then i will see you guys most likely tomorrow morning when I'm on my way, I'm taking a train, actually, because I live in Boston, which is four hours by train from New York. It's an hour, 20 minutes to fly. But then if you take like the hour, 30 minutes that you have to be at the airport before you board, you know, to check in and all of that stuff. And then it will take me an hour to get from JFK to Manhattan, where I'm going to be staying. It just like ends up being like four hours. So and the train is like a quarter of the price so no brainer i'll see you guys tomorrow morning let me begin to do my hair i'm at the train station i managed to get my hair done and finished pretty much 
and I am on time. Just getting to the train station. Super excited. City at our first event. Look at this view. So amazing, so stunning. Such a fun event. I'm so happy that I made it here. And tonight we're going to talk about the psychology of fashion. I think we can talk about any topic, but it happens to be fashion week and we happen to have an awesome panel. So I'm going to hand it over to Ariana, our marketing manager, to lead you to the evening and this awesome panel. And again, thank you for coming. This would not happen without all of you here. day one of New York Fashion Week and I came back with a goodie bag. Um, the event that I went to was actually amazing. It was basically an industry networking event so I met a lot of really amazing and like interesting people like people that have done amazing things in the industry. I can't wait to share with you guys like some of the things that I'm thinking of doing with all of these connections that I'm making. But basically, I feel like, wow, so happy. But anyway, goodie bag time. Um, I got a head and hair heel conditioner, a variable, and also the shampoo. To go with it very cool well you know amazing day amazing night i traveled really well and i got here did not take a break went straight into it and yes i forgot to even say can you see what i managed to do i actually ended up doing very small braids and i think they came out really really well and yes, my thumb, this one in particular, feels the pain. Like I have been like, I couldn't even do my nails after this. You know, that's why my I have no polish. But yeah, this thumb is refusing to work because like, can you imagine the amount of braiding that was done here? And I did it in from 3 p.m. until 4 a.m. Yeah. I can actually happily say that I am very sure that we are definitely going to get into the shows. So stick around. We have some fashion shows that are coming up, which is super exciting. So until tomorrow, I have had a couple of drinks, as you can probably tell. So I'll see you tomorrow. I need to sleep. Bye. This is day two, and this is my look. Gorgeous chunky boots. My Valentino African collection bag. And a Gucci skirt. 
and a vintage blazer. All ready to go. Oh, and are my friend's stockings. Can you imagine we bumped into each other during New York Fashion Week? Like, that is like the craziest thing. Yeah, so randomly outside Spring Studios, I'd gone to see what was happening today. And just like that, I bumped into fellow Zimbabwean who's right. doing so well here in New York. I'm going to post his Instagram over here so that you guys can follow him. But yeah, like it's and been. Subscribe. Yes, exactly. It's been such an amazing experience so far. We are now going to another show. He's got a car, so I don't need to use subways anymore. I'm going to be driving around with him. But then, yes, today's going to be so fun. So keep watching, Modicum. We are super excited to share this amazing New York Fashion Week <laughs> journey. And Zim Fashion Week is coming to you soon. Yes. Where are we supposed to He say didn't that? say that. I didn't say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Insider information. Right. Insider trading. <laughs> exactly. Almost. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you a little bit later. I'll show you a little bit of footage from everything that we're going to be doing. And tonight we're going to some really amazing parties as well. So there's a That's lot happening today. Lot. Yeah. So this is day two of New York Fashion Week for me, at least. But yeah. See you soon. See you outside.